youth of this country, media houses present, print, online, television, radio, etc. Bloggers also present. I welcome you all to this maiden press conference. Good morning to you, comrades. Good morning to my colleagues. And good morning to the good people of Ghana, most especially to the 1.9 million unemployed youth of this country. I say a good morning to you all and do not despair. There's light at the end of the tunnel. We have assembled you this morning here to speak on pertinent issues that confront us, especially as a youth of this country. And also, as a convener of the Oral Brigade, we are here to speak on governmental corruption and stealing of state funds by this current NPP functionaries. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, fellow Ghanaians, we welcome you all to this historic press conference. About a week ago, His Excellency John Dramani Mahama announced the operation Recover All Loot, oral for sure, initiative as part of the policies to be implemented by the next NDC government to hold all corrupt officials accountable. We of the Oral Brigade endorse and identify with this operation. We take this opportunity to commend His Excellency John Dramani Mahama for waging this crusade against the wanton corruption, nepotism, and excesses of this government. The Oral Brigade is a group of like-minded young people who believe in the tenets of probity and accountability and share in the promise of the NDC's operation Recover All Loot as contained in the recently outdoor manifesto dubbed Resetting Ghana. In federals of the Oral Objectives, we are organizing a picketing event at the Ministry of Finance. And subsequently, hello, hello, is Ministry of Finance sabotaging us? Sound, yes, thank you. In federals of the oral objectives, we are organizing a picketing or occupy event at the Ministry of Finance and subsequently at, <laughs> and subsequently at the Jubilee House or Julobi House or Julobishian or Julosian, whichever way, which are occupied the Jubilee House and any government establishment involved or suspected to be involved in corruption or corruption related matters to demand immediate and decisive action regarding several troubling financial improprieties that have recently come to light. Anywhere, everywhere that we see, we hear, we smell corruption, we shall occupy and we shall pick it in the coming days. So if you are a looter and you are looting, beware. Because the young people of this country we will soon boot all the looters out of this country. So if you are a looter, this is a strong warning to you that we shall soon occupy your office, we shall soon pick it in front of your offices to demand accountability. Our concerns are rooted in the need for transparency and accountability in the management of public funds. We have observed with increasing alarm the following issues that necessitate urgent intervention. Payments to Service Ghana Auto Group. Allegations, one, payments to Service Ghana Auto Group. Limited. Allegations have surfaced regarding payments of about $34 million to the Service Ghana Auto Group for the supply of spare parts, a company associated with the president's daughter. Despite the denial by the Ministry of Health that no payments have been made, there's ample evidence to the effect that Service Ghana Auto Group Limited received not less than $10 million in February 2024, in addition 
to earlier payments made between 2020 and 2023. These payments were flagged by the Auditor General as being irregular and without justification. The Auditor General found, amongst other things, inflated invoices submitted by the company, reliance on staff of the National Ambulance Service paid by the state for its maintenance, a breach of maintenance schedules and procedures. The conclusion of the Auditor General raises fundamental issues of value for money and corruption, which must attract the attention and action of the Ministry of Finance, which is included with the responsibility of managing our public finances prudently and efficiently. The Ministry must therefore with immediate effect take steps to retrieve the amounts disbursed as well as abrogate any contractual agreement with service auto group related to the ambulance maintenance service. Two, dubious SML contracts. Another vehicle used to siphon state resources is the controversial SML contract entered between Ministry of Finance and SML Group for Revenue Assurance in the Petroleum Sector. KPMG report, audit report of the contract reveals that the said contract failed to secure parliamentary approval, which ought to have been secured. It also found amongst others that the said agreement fails to meet the requisite value for money test, which failure resulted in the loss of revenue to the states. In excess of over one billion has already been paid to SML for apparently no work done. We find it troubling that amidst such blatant violations of our laws, the president rather directed a renegotiation of the already unlawfully executed contract. The ministry should therefore be minded to retrieve the over 1 billion Ghana cities paid to SML under the illegal contractual arrangement and at the same time put an end to any existing contractual relationship with SML to halt this heartless dissipation of our limited resources. It is our conviction that the least the Ministry of Finance can do after having subjected innocent Ghanaians to the Domestic Debt Exchange Program is to ensure prudence in the management of our scarce resources. A proactive response to the above stated demands will be appreciated by the Ghanaian people than the apology the minister purported to offer to the many Ghanaians affected by the domestic debt exchange program. We have reached the zenith of our patience as Ghanaian youth as we wake up daily to the horrifying revelations of corruption and mismanagement of resources that could have been prudently invested in our present and our future. The recent revelations of mismanagement and corruption associated with the hosting of the All African Games signals the unwillingness of public officials to stop their appetites for corruption. We have come to the realization that the current managers of our economy are only concerned with their livelihoods and that of their children and with little regard for the collective aspirations of the Ghanaian people, you and I. As a result, on the 4th of September, 2024, six days from today, the Oral Brigade will be assembling at the Ministry of Health, sorry, Ministry of Finance, to voice our demands. And I take that again. As a result, on the 4th of September, the Oral Brigade will be assembling at the Ministry of Finance to voice our demands and ensure that our concerns are heard. Our purpose is to urge the Minister for Finance to take immediate action 
to investigate these matters thoroughly, halt any questionable payments, and recover funds where necessary. We believe that this picketing is vital to restore public confidence in our financial management system, to reinforce the principle that public resources must be managed with the highest levels of integrity and transparency. This is just the first and beginning of many planned protests by the National Conscience Oral Brigade aimed to demanding accountability in public financial management. We invite all concerned citizens, stakeholders, and the 1.9 million unemployed youth who have lost hope to join us in this peaceful picketing to demand accountability and ensure that our government remains accountable to its people. We shall not relent until the right things are done. We shall not stop until the right things are done. We shall not fear until the right things are done because it is our present, it is our future, and it is our country. And the country belongs to we, the youth, because we are the future of this country. We shall not be cowed because we are fearless and forward shall we move. No amount of intimidation will stop us from picketing and occupying government officials' offices that we see, smell, hear, or suspect any form of corruption.